Edward Herbert, 1st Baron Herbert of Cherbury, or Cherbury, K.B., March 3, 1583, August 20, 1648, was an Anglo-Welsh soldier, diplomat, historian, poet and religious philosopher of the Kingdom of England. Life Early Life Edward Herbert was the eldest son of Richard Herbert of Montgomery Castle a member of the collateral branch of the family of the Earls of Pembroke, and of Magdalen, daughter of Sir Richard Newport, and brother of the poet George Herbert. He was born within England at Aden on Severn near Oxeter, Shropshire. After private tuition, he matriculated at University College, Oxford, as a gentleman commoner, in May 1596. On February 28, 1599, at the age of 15, he married his cousin Mary, then aged 21, notwithstanding the disparity of years betwixt us, who was daughter and heiress of Sir William Herbert, d. 1593. He returned to Oxford with his wife and mother, continued his studies, and learned French, Italian and Spanish as well as music, writing and fencing. During this period, before he was twenty-one, he started a family. Herbert entered Parliament as Knight of the Shire for Montgomeryshire in 1601. On the accession of King James I he presented himself at court and was created a Knight of the Bath on July 24, 1603. From 1604 to 1611 he was Member of Parliament for Merioneth. From 1605 he was Magistrate and appointed Sheriff in Montgomery Shire for 1605. Soldier, in 1608, Edward Herbert he went to Paris, with Aurelian Townshend, enjoying the friendship and hospitality of the old Constable de Montmorency at Merwin meeting King Henry IV. He lodged for many months with Isaac Casalbon. On his return, as he wrote of himself, he was in great esteem both in court and city, many of the greatest desiring my company. At this period he was close to both Ben Johnson and John Donne, and in Johnson's Epicoene, or The Silent Woman Herbert is probably alluded to. Both Donne and Johnson honored him in poetry. In 1610, Herbert served as a volunteer in the Low Countries under the Prince of Orange, whose intimate friend he became, and distinguished himself at the capture of Juliers from the Emperor. He offered to decide the war by engaging in single combat with a champion chosen from among the enemy, but his challenge was declined. During an interval in the fighting he paid a visit to Spinola, in the Spanish camp near Wesel and afterwards to the Elector Palatine at Heidelberg, subsequently travelling in Italy. At the instance of the Duke of Savoy he led an expedition of 4,000 Huguenots from Languedoc into Piedmont to help the Savoyards against Spain, but after nearly losing his life on the journey to Lyon he was imprisoned on his arrival there, and the enterprise came to nothing. Thence he returned to the Netherlands and the Prince of Orange arriving in England in 1617. Diplomat, in 1619, Herbert was made ambassador to Paris, taking in his entourage Thomas Carew. A quarrel with de la Ines and a challenge sent by him to the latter occasioned his recall in 1621. After the death of de la Ines, Herbert resumed his post in February 1622. Edward Herbert was very popular at the French court and showed considerable diplomatic ability. His chief objects were to accomplish the marriage between Charles, Prince of Wales and Henrietta Maria, and to secure the assistance of Louis XIII for Frederick V, Elector Palatine. He failed in the latter, and was dismissed in April 1624. Herbert returned home greatly in debt and received little reward for his services beyond the Irish peerage of Castle Island on May 31, 1624 and the English barony of Cherbury, or Cherbury, on May 7, 1629. Later life, in 1632, 
Herbert was appointed a member of the Council of War. He attended the King at York in 1639, and in May 1642 was imprisoned by the Parliament for urging the addition of the words without cause to the resolution that the King violated his oath by making war on Parliament. He determined after this to take no further part in the struggle, retired to Montgomery Castle, and declined the King's summons, pleading ill health. On September 5, 1644 he surrendered the castle, by negotiation, to the parliamentary forces led by Sir Thomas Middleton. 8. He returned to London, submitted, and was granted a pension of £20 a week. In 1647. He paid a visit to Pierre Gassendi at Paris, and died in London the following summer, aged 65, being buried in the church of Street Giles in the Fields. Family, Lord Herbert left two sons, Richard, c. 1600-1655, who succeeded him as second Lord Herbert of Cherbury, and Edward. Richard's sons, Edward Herbert. D. 1678, and Henry Herbert, D. 1691, each succeeded to the title, after which it became extinct. It was revived in 1694 when Henry Herbert, 1654 1709, son of Sir Henry Herbert, 1595 1673, brother of the first Lord Herbert, was created Lord Herbert of Cherbury. Lord Herbert's cousin and namesake, Sir Edward Herbert, was also a prominent figure in the English Civil War. De Veritate, Herbert's major work is the De Veritate, Proud Distinguature Revelation, a verisimile, a possibile, et a falso, on truth, as it is distinguished from revelation, the probable, the possible, and the false, he published it on the advice of Grotius. In the De Veritate, Herbert produced the first purely metaphysical treatise, written by an Englishman. Herbert's real claim to fame is as the father of English deism. The common notions of religion are the famous five articles, which became the charter of the English deists. Charles Blund, in particular, acted as a publicist for Herbert's idea. It is on the index of forbidden books of the Catholic Church. <laughs> 